This fall at Findlay Stadium, head coach Russ Huseman and the Chattanooga Mocs are defending their third straight Southern Conference crown. Give every ounce of energy you got on every snap for 60 minutes. Rep the seed this fall with the Mocs. Hold on your side and hit it in the backfield. Breaks a tackle, 40 breaks it up. Hit hard, stays on his feet, the extra effort, and he's gonna go in. Picked off, it's gonna go for six. This season, it's all about us. Go play like Chattanooga, go play like the defending Southern Conference champions, that's what you are. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football with head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Mox, Jim Reynolds. Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. There's only 16 teams still alive in the FCS playoffs, and the Chattanooga Mox are one of them. Welcome to this edition of Inside Chattanooga Mox Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, and we'll take a look at UTC's big win over Weber State at Finley Stadium from last Saturday in the opening round of the playoffs, and preview the upcoming contest, Mox on the road in Huntsville, Texas, this Saturday to take on the only unbeaten team in FCS football. That's the Bearcats of Sam Houston State. All that and more when Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this message. There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. Honoring all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, Find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors Cup. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24 hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Obviously, we're moving on, and, and the, you know, the playoffs start, and <clears throat> we're looking forward to playing. I know our guys will be excited to play, and you know, I'm sure 24 teams right now are are trying to win a national championship. It's down to 24 and we're one of them and we're excited and we're gonna play a really good football team in uh, Weber State. They, they, they're coming out of an excellent league. Uh, they've played good people. Uh, they've won big games. You know, they had to win their last game to get in this thing and, and they got it done. Uh, so I, I've, been, I've been very impressed with them on film and, and uh, you know we're, we're excited to play this game I know they'll be excited to play and, and it should be a, a great football game but if we go out there and slop around and practice today and in the rest of the week we'll get we'll get our brains beat in this week so we, we're gonna have to practice well we're gonna have to prepare well and, and uh, take care of uh, the little things and, and the attention to detail has to be there so um, you know this this from here on out, if you don't practice, you don't prepare, you'll get beat. Well, <clears throat> I think they're, they're offensively, I don't, you know, when you, when you go play a team, you always look for weaknesses. You look for, well, how, where are they here? Or, you know, can we exploit this? And, and off, offensively, I don't see a weakness. I think it starts up front with them, kind of like us. They've got uh, three seniors on uh, up front. They've got some preseason all-conference. They've got a lot of experience, and they're really solid, and they're really good up front. They've got two good running backs, <clears throat> pretty physical guys uh, that are good players. Their quarterback uh, is a really good player. He's, you know, he's he, he probably, I mean, he throws it better than he runs. I mean, he, they'll run him some, but he's not a, you know, he's not your typical dual-threat quarterback, but he can run it, 
and they do have zone reads in there and some quarterback powers for him, so they will run the ball in that capacity. Uh, their, their best wideout, I think, broke his leg uh, either a game ago or two games ago. Um, excellent, excellent player, but they've got some guys that can run on the outside. And then their tight ends, they play three, four tight ends. Uh, one of their tight ends is their leading receiver. Excellent player. So, you know, you, we're going to have to defend, you know, them having a couple tight ends, maybe three tight ends in at some point in time. <clears throat> and then defensively, you know, kind of revolves around their linebackers. I think they've got probably these, this set of linebackers is the best we'll face all year. Uh, they're really good players. They're leading tacklers. Uh, our, our offensive coaches have been very, very impressed with them. I think they got pretty good team speed on defense. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're they kind of they're comparable. They kind of look like us. I mean, they're very comparable, and we're very comparable to them. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. Hey, Big, make sure we got some footballs over there for these guys. Need some more balls. Be like Zoe, high and tight. And Trevor, you get you some special cleats, some kicker cleats. They look like they're two sizes too big, like Ronald McDonald. Dro, you get some special cleats too. Those are cute. I know Royster didn't get you any of those. Y'all went online and got those on uh, Cyber Monday. I mean, hey, they make you run faster. Three, four. Maybe that's good. That's because that's they're bionic. Go talk to him about it. Let's go. Who's the Le who is Adidas in the NBA? Isn't LeBron Adidas? Huh? He's Nike now? Who is Adidas? <laughs> Why does Josh know all of the NBA players? He doesn't even play basketball. Right hand, big reach. He's well rounded. He is well rounded. If anybody needed new cleats, it was Pfeiffer. Those are from three years ago. Adidas, huh? Royster really doesn't like you. Those are soccer cleats. All right, here we go, high and tight. Let's go, high and tight, let's go. Take care of that rock. Gotta love this drill. I saw Joe use this Saturday. He used it Saturday. Three yard gain for Dro right here. Was gonna be one. Hey Finn. A little bit better. Yeah, a little bit. Back for Getting old. Shit. Wait, Ricard Dre. Here we go. Step it over. Eyes downfield. Ready to go. Quick feet, good balance. Relax, quarter turn, globe trotter, let's go. Globe trotter, work that ball right leg. Reverse, left leg. Keep up, Hunter. Reverse, figure eight. Nobody's gonna be on the intramural basketball this year. Start right here on the hash row, five step. Next guy giving pressure right there, right there. Hitch up, get out, reset. Nice. Dang. Dang, Tyler. That ball's getting on me quick today. That's it. We got to work on making that cut. You got to have your pads down to make that cut. It's a good point. Chris can make it. His pads are always down because he's little. Throw and catch. Very nice. One more. Ready. Sit it. Beautiful, switch it up. 
There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by FSG Bank, a division of Atlanta Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. In position, almost like a two backfield here for the quarterback, and the throw in the backfield is a successful one, first down up to midfield. Brought in Stovall, Stovall makes the first drive for the Buckeyes, went 77 yards, resulted no points. Straight ahead, Benefield headed the end zone, touchdown! What a move! From the shotgun Benefield, the crane into that secondary. Now it's a race to the 47 yard line. Wow, that's a pickup of 34 and another first down. In the first quarter, Mox leading 7 0, looking for more over the middle. That's a touchdown. A rifle to Alfonso Stewart. His first touchdown reception of the year and a two touchdown box lead. Sim as a pass receiver. Need to get the football to the 32. Clark over the middle, incomplete, and again, nearly picked off and deflected at the line of scrimmage. Leslie was in the neighborhood. Mayo averaging 44 yards a punt on the season, low line drive. About to hit a lineman. Boxer on the football. That's a live football there, and Chattanooga Says it has it, and it's going to be confirmed. Wow. And on the 40 is four for five. Right hash kick. Got distance. Good. 17-0 mock. Two receiver set, both to the near side. Benefield facing the blitz, got rid of it. Nice play by Alejandro Benefield to get rid of the football. As pressure was coming on, they're a great duo. Now Benefield going to keep it himself. Into the secondary, out of bounds. Carries the football to the 48. Good enough for a pickup of 15. Another on third and five. Clark faking. He's got a man out of the backfield. Ball caught. Can he get in? No. Ball loose. Going to be returned the other way. It's going to go for a touchdown. Montreal Pardue. A turnaround of 14 points. Can you believe this? Unbelievable play. How many times do we see guys reach the ball out trying to get it across the goal line and gets knocked loose? Buck 40 to go, first half. Third and 10. Clark under pressure, gets rid of it, popped up in the air, it's intercepted. And it's going to be run back. Is that Pardue again? No, not this time. Back to Weber State. Andrew Bullard now in the slot for Weber State. They're looking for him, but no time for Jadrian Clark, and he actually has dropped for a loss at the 30-yard line. They'll spot him officially at the 29. Alejandro Benefield, the quarterback, was the man waiting in the wings. Give the crane on first down, makes a man miss. Still going with the football, still rumbling ahead to the 39-yard line. What a good-looking run on first down, good for almost 20. Why not with a 24-0 lead? Benefield, got a man, it's going to be a touchdown! Shot a bullet to Alfonso Stewart. Well, great change of thought there. The offense, absolutely. On first and 10, Clark to Bachelor. Ball loose. Box say they've got it. Let's see what the call is. Yes, sir. Turnover number four in the game. This is a good sign as they are positioning themselves to move on to round two. And Crane's got a huge hole, and he may break this one. 20, 10, 
Touchdown, Derek Crane. This one's going to be returned. Touchdown. Trevor Wright. That will do it. Ross Huseman moving on to the second round, as he did last year. Jay Hill's team, despite some improvement over last year, headed out. Two good football coaches right there. Both programs, lucky to have them. Russ has done a great job with UTC, as we said all day long, too. Eight, eight solid years, and he came in when the program was not winning games at all. It's totally changed the culture of Chattanooga football. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, joined by Mox Head Football Coach Russ Huseman. 16 teams, there's only 16 to have a chance to win that big trophy, and you guys are one of them. That ain't a bad place to be. That's exactly what we talked about uh, before the game, that we wanted to be one of 16 left when it was all said and done. And uh, our guys got it done. We played well, you know, probably pretty well in all three phases to win that game. Win the turnover battle by a big margin. That makes a little bit of a difference statistically, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, those turnovers are huge. I mean, the one when they were driving and, and, you know, Montreal hit him on the one yard line and then a couple guys cleaned it up and then we got the ball out and then take it 99. I mean, that's a difference of 14 points and it's a 24 nothing game instead of a 17 7 game. Trevor Wright had a pick six. When your defense can get 14, that makes you feel better, doesn't it? Yeah, it hadn't happened in a while for us and uh, we've been concerned about turnovers and, and creating turnovers and, you know, fortunately in that game, we created some turnovers and, um, and got a couple scores off of them. How important was it just to get off to a good start scoring on that opening possession? It's always important. You just don't know when you, when you play teams you're not familiar with and you don't know what to expect. And, and I think moving the ball, you know, early gave us some confidence. And I think we went out there defensively and maybe had a three and out right away and, and then scored again. So. You know, it gave us a lot of confidence that we could play and, and uh, you know, use our athleticism and win a football game. Does it make a difference, playoff experience? Everyone talks about that kind of thing. Does it make a difference if you just – maybe it does during the week in your preparation or whatever. Once you start hitting and get hit in the mouth a couple times, I'm not sure it makes any difference after that. No, I mean, it's all a game. I mean, once, once the – you know, the whistle blows to start that thing off. It's a game. But but you're right. I think during the week and, and how you organize your practices and what you're doing this time of year with your guys, uh, we tried to keep it as normal as we could. Um, same exact routine that we always do leading up to this thing. And uh, and, and I'm sure Weber did too. But um, it's um, – it's all the same when the whistle blows. Are there any extra distractions during the week, or is it just it's just a football game on Saturday, like twelve other football games on Saturday? Not just you guys, <laughs> other than other than you, Jr. No, it's 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 a normal. I mean, it's it's really a normal game week, and but you, you know, your guys understand that if you lose, you're done, and uh, and that's where you are right now, and and we're trying to get to be one of eight. We talked a little bit about who legitimately has a chance to win this whole shoot match. I think when you get down to 16, you and I mentioned you mentioned that number 10. There's probably 10 teams that have a legitimate chance to win to win the big prize at the end. And now we're kind of getting down there, aren't we? Yeah, it's it's pretty close. I think uh, I think the teams that are left, um, you know, probably feel like they can win it and, and probably have a shot to win it. You know, some teams are better than others in, in this. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit of luck, the ball bouncing your way, get a call here or there, and you, you never know. And if you can just can continue to survive in advance, 
you just never know what happens down the road. On the road, Huntsville, Texas this Saturday. Chattanooga taking on the only unbeaten team in FCS football, Sam Houston State. They're one of those. They they think they should be a higher seed, this and that and the other. Obviously, they're a good football team. We can start there, right? Yeah, I don't believe anybody's going to be talking about our team speed as opposed to somebody else's. They can run. Uh, they got a lot of team speed. I mean, they're putting up unbelie ungodly numbers uh, offensively. It's 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 a it's a track meet out there, and they've got guys that can catch it. Their quarterback's probably an All-American. You know, coming into last week's game, you know, they they were just they were really solid. You know, well coached. You know, now you're getting into the, to where you know they got all Americans that you're playing against and fantastic players, and they're well coached. So, we're, we're going to have to step our game up big time this week. Does it really make a difference, home or road, at this time of year? Or is it is it pretty much all the same? I think it makes a big difference. You know, whether you're at home or on the road, especially if you got to travel a, a big time distance. But you know, the trip, the flight to Houston will be a two hour flight. Uh, we gain an hour going there, so it it won't. You know, it won't be too bad, uh, the trip, but always having home field advantage is important. Box trying to get in that final eight. 16 teams still alive in the playoffs. UTC and Sam Houston State Saturday afternoon in Huntsville, Texas. We'll have highlights next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital. Proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics.